Hi, Steve Milliman, and I am the Veganizer. So, here we are in the West Village on Christopher Street. The name of the restaurant, it's a French vegan restaurant. When you look at the pictures, they're just insanely amazing. It's called The Lease and Sarasum. I hope I said that right. I was okay three years of high school French. <laughs> so, speaking of French, my sister is right here. It's Coco Palladino, who started out as Coco Middleman. And, and married... Constance, really. Really, Constance. And you married Vinnie Palladino, so, uh, but she loves France, and I love her, oh, yeah. so this is... Yeah, so this is the place. This is the place for us to go. And she's funny, and she's open and warm and charming, and I love her. And at least we got that on tape. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll okay. always remember that. So uh, we're looking forward. We're gonna order some food. Our beloved dad, David, uh, he had a stroke when he was around 60. It was a really bad one, and he had four heart attacks. Passed on his fourth heart attack. Now, uh, that was a great motivation for me uh, early on, and. My food, uh, you know, choices got better and better and better. Less and less meat, things like that. Less wiped out, cut out dairy, and uh, I've, I've received a lot of benefits from doing that. And uh, I, I like to say I'm plant-based, but for the purpose of this show, I am vegan. Yes, I'm vegan. Don't eat any animal products. And I'd love to introduce Coco to, uh, you know, this you know, this is a beautiful place to introduce you to uh, a vegan yes. meal, at least. And, and uh, you know, wh what are you thinking? I, I find it, it's, well, this restaurant itself is very fascinating because everything is based on traditional French food and it's going to be really exciting to try it in oh a vegan God. form. Oh, yeah. I'm just also really fascinated with your passion for um, for doing this, for being the veganizer, for helping people understand a vegan lifestyle. I also was, um, I, I went for a macrobiotic con conference um, with a leader a long time ago, and he told me, he saw me across the ballroom and said, don't you ever eat dairy again in your whole life. And I'm like, how does he know that's my favorite food? You know, so it's, um, it, and cutting that out, it's like really, really healing for the body. All these very inflammatory foods. So um, for you, is it more of a moral choice? Uh, um, well, as there, there's a lot of different reasons for becoming vegan. Well, great question. Uh, for me, the first, my first motivation was to be healthier. And uh, after that, when Griff came into the world, shortly after that, it was that my choices affect the environment that he's growing up in and going to be living in, mm -hmm. and his generation. Is as we're raising Griff, uh, we're meeting and going to schools and seeing all these kids and you know, there's a residual benefit to making a choice that helps the environment for future generations. And we're very lucky to have lived relatively peaceful as far as, but lately in these X number of years, so the environment is a big factor and kind of like, let me say morally, uh, harming animals, it just, that, bubbles over now for me it mm -hmm. kind of like uh like a horse race it was like third on the list uh, it we're, we're all tied for first but i will say without a healthy planet the animals and the humans uh, suffer a great deal remarkably so those that's my answer to you and i remember seeing when um they had 
a lot of the scientists on about climate change that the best thing any human could do was to become oh, vegan, yeah. a plant-based, yes. because that alone would help climate change. It, and we see, like, there's we haven't had a snow in New York all Not, winter. Oh, my God, I'm here in February, and it's in the 60s. Yeah, you know, I, it's I, climate change. Crazy. I would say one thing about the scientists, they pretty much are lockstep. And if you look at where born in Canada, you and I, and the Canadian, I, I'm not sure what the organization is called, but Canadian Health Organization, some like World Health, they're, they're like, we recommend a plant-based lifestyle. The more vegan choices, the more plant-based choices you can make, the better off you're going to be, the planet's going to be, obviously the animals are going to be. Christoph. It's Christoph. Look at that. So do not touch wow. the plate, okay? Oh my god. It's very hot. Mm. <clears throat> Those are the escargot. They're made yeah. with oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Um, with cashew, coconut, parsley, garlic butter. Uh, and yeah. you just scoop it out with a spoon. And we get you some bread. Oh, thank you. Right. You give it a try. Uh, we have our spoons right there. Oh, here he is. <clears throat> Christoph. We have a, this, this whole block is amazing and this restaurant is gorgeous. Thank you. And um, I, I just, I, I have to ask, how did, how did you come about putting this together and saying, hey, this is a great, I've traveled the world. Really, I've been to France a number of times, but I've traveled the world and <clears throat> the, I've never seen a French vegan restaurant. This is great. And in New York, this smells amazing. It's hard to think while smelling this right here. <laughs> but uh, so, how did you come about? Um, I mean, it was very random, to be honest. My my mom is a chef, and uh, she used to cook me those dishes at home. So when I moved here, I was missing them, and I said, "Hey, whenever you are free, I mean, my dad and my mom, whenever you guys are free, whenever you stop working, and whenever you want, let's." Uh, Let's open a restaurant with That's other great. recipe in New York. Oh my god! And they did not wait. They said, "Okay, let's stop working and let's go there." Wow! So, um, so yeah, um, my mom and I would create those dishes. I would make them, of course, a more elaborated than a yeah. home, a home dish. Um, and it was very natural, to be honest. We did not think that it was going to be that popular. I mean, honestly, it was not. That was not the plan. It was more, the plan was more to have fun yeah, and well, to show that you can eat vegan uh, uh, in the French cuisine because, you know, French cuisine and vegan and it's not more, so it doesn't really work. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, People it, it happens, you know, creative. little by little. The good thing is because of what we do, uh, people are tricked. A lot of the time, they do not. They see French and they don't really realize that it's vegan, even though it says vegan all over. Yeah. They don't really associate French with vegan, so we have lots of customers that you know, come back and come back and come back. They never realize it's vegan until they realize it's vegan. You know. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's really funny. So that's, that's the way to go. Yeah. No, it's yeah. fun. Definitely. It's like when parents make dishes for kids they and kids, them. They, yeah, yeah, they never even wonder like, oh, uh, you know, Jerry yeah. Seinfeld's. Uh, wife, she did a book where you know how to infuse vegetables oh, and, yes. and dishes. Yeah, and uh, uh, so, have you been a vegan your whole life? Not my whole life. I've been vegan for about fourteen years. Uh, fourteen yes. years. Yeah. You too. Yeah, yeah, fourteen years. Great. Right. So, how long have you been in the states? Uh, fourteen years. I oh. started when I moved here. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your mom was, she had a passion for a vegan lifestyle. Not at all. I mean, uh, she was a traditional chef. I mean, you know, she yeah. would cook those dishes, non vegan, way before that. Um, until until everybody became vegan. Uh, all three of you became vegan. Uh, and my brother, yeah. And your brother, too. Yeah. Yeah, great. Is he in this? Yes, he is in New York, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody moved. We're all, yeah. we came from Canada, so we're all, we all yeah, came from are. somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, let's give it a try. Can uh, I ask you also, you mentioned that your mom made these dishes for you, but in the traditional way or in the vegan way? 
Oh no, no, vegan. vegan. Oh, she yeah. did. That's why when I uh, yeah. transition uh, was when I when I came here and I said, listen, I mean, people should know, you know, that this is possible. Awesome. Oh, this is this because smells she was great really surprised herself. You know. Exciting! Yeah. It's fascinating. She definitely surprised oh, yeah. herself and it too. It smells and looks. Give so it a try. Well, like that's a real... good segue. Go yeah. for it. Okay. All right. I, I hope you like it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my Yum. god, here I go. Take a piece of bread. Mm. Oh my god. Oh uh, my god. Is that delicious? It's crazy. It wow. tastes like it's really escargot. Oh yeah. Delicious. Bread is great. The bread is amazing. Yeah. I really love good. bread. Yeah. Well, here we I go. Could, I could live on bread. Yeah. I'm going I'm to sure. have another escargot. Actually, in certain places, they do live on a great deal of uh, bread. So, mm. okay, here we go. Part two. This is quite heavenly. Isn't it raging? Yeah. Really good. I'm dipping. That's, that's <laughs> what it's made for. Yeah. So, this is what non-French people always talk about. They talk about going to France, even if they don't ever go to France. They go, how are they so trim? They eat all this rich food. <laughs> now, now you can tell the whole world, what's the secret to why are people in France eating all this rich food? And like, they stay, they look like they're in great shape, very healthy, very attractive. You know, I mean, how, do, how does that happen? What's the miracle? That I mean, so many people ask me that question. Uh, and I think like, it's a world... You know, question. Yeah, I'm <laughs> um, gonna guess. Okay. I'm sorry, I asked you a no, question. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Maybe the portions? So, part of this is can be the portions, even though, you yeah. know, French dishes tends to be very rich. Oh. Yeah. But it's true that even though lots of animal products are used, um, for example, I mean, you know, we're gonna get the, the example of the beef bourguignon, it's just meat and wine. Yeah. So technically, besides the fat from the animal, it's not as fatty as uh, as you know getting French fries and you know yeah. bacon and all of that. Yeah. Uh, the second reason that I think yeah, I is... was interrupted your first. No, no, no. The second reason, and I think the 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 food, um, the weight processed maybe. Uh, for example, the bread. You know, bread is to eat bread on a regular daily basis yeah. um, and I think because of the quality of the flour the, ma the way it's made or the way it's processed yeah. uh, there's not much additives or there's not much uh, ingredients strange yeah. ingredient added you know yeah. if you look at the ingredients is the yeast salt water and flour yeah. so rather than lots of countries bread is a mix of lots of additives and other ingredients that also yeah. Cannot be good. From know. what from what I understand, also is it's not quite the bread, but it's the dairy or the oil on top of the bread oh, or yes, the fat. Of course. Yeah, it's not really the bread. Isn't you know it's a starch. Yes. You can have remarkably healthy bread. Yes. Absolutely. Ezekiel bread is amazingly. Which one? Uh, Ezekiel. I'm not. I'm not you don't know. Wow. Bread. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well. Ezekiel bread, if you want to look it up, it's great. What is it made of? It's, oh. it's pretty much a flourless spread. Oh, got it, got it. It's, they say from the Bible um, that it's, uh, and they have a lot of different types. I like this bread much better. Yeah. Is this like a sourdough or a, a peasant? Absolutely, yeah. It's, yeah. Super, it's a, a levain, a pain au levain, oh. which is t supposed to be an old-fashioned way of making bread. Um, and the closest will be sourdough, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's delicious. And do you have like yeah. a gluten-free uh, option for people that have to stay gluten-free? Absolutely. So most of the dishes are gluten-free by itself. Uh, but if, you know, of course, lots of the dishes come with bread on the side. But if you ask us and request it, we can definitely make some gluten-free bread, which is made with buckwheat, 100% uh, buckwheat flour. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was our dad. That's great. Has made buckwheat pancakes growing up. Well, I mean, you know, in Canada, yeah. buckwheat is very important. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. um, they grow it. Lots yeah. of buckwheat is grown there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, what else in the buckwheat? Um, yeah, like kasha. They call it kasha. Uh, the groats. Yes. You know, yeah. Kasha? Yes. Delicious. Yes. 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 A Jewish kasha varnish yes. kiss is yes. a Jewish. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very Jewish. 
Um, yeah. Also, the great That's name for a Yiddish theater. Ladies and gentlemen, Kasha Varnishkis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I learned how to make it quite well. My my little Italian uh, mother-in-law loved Kasha. Oh, God. She loved yeah. it when I would make that for yeah. her. If you need a chef here, she's a good <laughs> Yeah. Good to know. She can bring some, add kasha to your, <laughs> to right. your menu. Do you do any, I'm very good with like Indian kind of doll. You know, I'm oh, yeah. it, still great I make cook. it very, uh, oh, my God. Nice. Uh, with, with chickpeas and it, it's very oh, it's so good sugar chickpeas, oil, yeah. salt free, free, but it, with all those spices, yeah. yes. it's really oh, yeah. yummy. It's, yeah. I, I, all my friends and family, it's their favorite. So I'm going to ask you a strange question. Yes. You probably have a lot of food here. Yes. Where do you go and what kind of uh, plant-based food or vegan food do you like? You mean in New York? Uh, out of here, yeah, when you're not uh, eating here. Restaurants? Yeah, for like, hey, let's go, hey, so-and-so, let's go to <coughs> eat So, where, you know? um, I personally have two favorites. Uh, the first one is the Organic Grill, which was actually, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure you know yeah. that. And, um, I love his cuisine. For me, it's so yeah, it's young. Great. He's a great guy. Yeah, and, I mean, it's so good. And, and constantly I add some more dishes, it's being yeah. very creative, I like it. And the fact that lots of the dishes are cooked with it, a twist. So for example, there's, he has like those fried chicken, which is actually made with oat flour. I think it's, you know, it's, it's interesting to He's a creative guy. Yes. Yeah, remarkably and, nice uh, guy Blossom. Too. I don't know if you know. Blossom. Where's Blossom restaurant. Yeah. Blossom, okay. Yeah. Boy. Is that in the village also? No, they used to have one in the village. Uh, they closed, they have two. They have one up over side and they used to have one here. They closed recently. Uh, but yeah, so up over side. Right. So you, so you do one. try different places. Oh no, constantly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Constantly. Are there scouting? Do you scout? Go, oh, maybe we can do a version, or it's no, yeah. because I mean, you can't, no one really do French cuisine. French is that it? That's yeah. it. Yeah. So our well, only inspiration is the French cuisine dishes. Yeah. And, you know, that's Good. The, and at home, what what do you have at home? Like, do you say, or are you always eating everything? I, you most know? of the time, I eat. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. Ask yeah. That too. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I bring it home, you know, and I I prepare it at home. Is this seven days a week? Yes. 11 to? 11 to 11. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah. That's a long day. Right, so oh, that's my the God. Savory crab. Oh, oh, look my at that. We're, this is unfair. <laughs> I wish you could all be here to have oh, some of this with us. Yeah. Really great. All right, so this is a savory crab with uh, cashew creme fraiche, uh, along with avocado puree, dill, and the uh, smoked salmon, which is made with konjac roots, which is a Japanese root. I can smell it. I can just, as you said it, I could smell it. Oh, you can smell little by little. But yeah, <laughs> it's like power suggestion, but I could smell it now. All right, right. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. So what, how, do we, how do we best cut this up, you think, Coco? Um, just uh, half, half. Take, take what um, you want. Well, yeah. you take a, a little piece, a quarter. Yeah, I'll just... A quarter I'll of it just, or something? I'll just... They've got to fit here in this <laughs> What are these plates called that make plates like this? Well, I, those plates are fabulous for like sushi and mm. sashimi. I can't wait to try this. I know. Look at this. You used to like crepes, right? I haven't had crepes, but I like anything that's like a wrap. Yeah. And it looks like it's really salmon and dill. and. As soon as you go to Paris, you go... You get one of the sandwiches, like the day you get there. I know. A croque monsieur. Yeah, that's right. Madame. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here, I'll cut it in quarters. Okay. And then you could just make a little wrap. There we go. I'm going to knock the water right over. Yeah. Because we want to dive into this. It looks so amazing. Outrageous. Okay. I think I got it over there. Okay. I wonder what okay, this maybe. flower is. Christoph? This must be buckwheat. Bu oh, this is buckwheat. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not sure if you know that, but in France, the savory crepe are always, always made with buckwheat. Really? If you eat it with whole wheat, then, I mean, you're definitely a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, so that buckwheat is important from France because we cannot find, I don't want to say good buckwheat, but a similar buckwheat from the one we have in Europe. 
I'm yeah. not sure why. There's lots of different types of bushes here. Buck, buckwheat and water, basically. Yep, absolutely. That's it. That's simple. Yep, yep. So how, when you say imported from France, uh, they're literally your. Uh, how much of this do you when you import it? Like how much is coming in? One ton. In? How much? One ton. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. For this restaurant? Yes. Because oh. it comes every six months. I see. Wow. So it has to be a big quantity in case we need, you know, we cannot be without. So how long have you been open? Nine years. Nine years? Yes. And Bravo, you survived the COVID. Uh, yes, and many other. <laughs> crisis. Yeah. Many other crises. Weather yeah. issues, uh, probably sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. Do yeah. many people still eat outside? And yeah, they, I mean, right now it's closed, like but yeah, definitely in summer. Yeah. Spring, summer is definitely yeah, We see yeah. people coming in and out to get deliveries too. So oh, yes. Yeah, I want, especially when it's raining. Yeah. Otherwise, people tend to walk in and, and order, or they order online and pick it up in person. Yeah, yeah. it's great. We were just talking about yeah. that. Yeah, okay. <coughs> yeah, you this first. Go for it. Have okay, the first bite. I'm going bite. to, like, I'm going to use my fork. I feel like I'm going to be messy. Mm. Try this. Put some of this on here. Oh my gosh, the cheese and the... It's good, huh? Yeah. Now I think I can pick it up. Holy Moses. It's, really good. It's incredible. Are we supposed that's... to eat this with our hands? I think that we can, however you prefer. I'll try it. I'll try it. I knew the very edge would probably plop on me. This is outrageous. My usual way of dropping food this. on me. Wow. Yeah. It really is a dessert, isn't it? Now, this, the sweet one would be. The um, This one is just like, I, I, I'm looking at it My and God. it looks like smoked salmon. And it I, as you said it, I taste the smoked salmon. Mm-hmm. Holy Moses, this is good. Man, oh man. I love um, it. Well. Incredible. You know. You know how they say, don't try these tricks at home? Uh, try this one. It's it's vegan. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. And uh, to your health. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, oh, Lord almighty. <laughs> is that pretty? Gorgeous. That is a sweet crab with roasted banana, uh, melted dark chocolate, and coconut whipped cream. Now, now that you're showing us the savory and then the sweet crepe, so what would you say, Christophe, are the most popular items on the menu? Um, on the appetizer, I would think it would be the escargot for sure. Uh, we have a cheese plate also that's very popular uh, with four types of cultured uh, cheeses made with uh, real enzyme. I mean, you know, the same enzyme that they use for dairy cheese. Uh, so we have a brie, uh, Rock for you know all of those cheeses. Yeah. Then we have a baked brie uh, with small potatoes that is very popular. Oh so that would be, I would say, for the appetizer, would be the top three. Yes. On the main course, um, the most popular tends to be the dishes that people recognize the most. I think. Yeah. So the bœuf bourguignon. Yeah. Because people know how it sounds, right? The coco vin and the steak frites. Those tends to be also, but I also think it's because they have seen it before. Yeah, it's something they can recognize, and so they go towards the dishes sure, they can yeah. recognize. And desserts. And dessert, definitely this one, the roasted banana, dark yeah. chocolate, and whipped cream, very popular. Oh boy. Uh, we have a dark uh, chocolate mousse, and uh, also a creme brulee, very popular. Also. Oh yeah, I'd love to know what uh, beef. Um, how do I how do I say beef bourguignon? Beef bourguignon and the cocoa van. Coco, Coco, that's her name. Coco and one. Anyway, uh, Coco yeah. So, uh, what are they made of? How do you do that? So we use uh, one and single only protein, which is pea, pea protein that we texturize. Uh, they're basically yellow split peas that we cook and we bake, and then it has a meaty texture, and then we just, you know, play with it with the sauce. Amazing. That's so you hit a standard of like, oh, this is it. We've just we've hit what we want. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the goal is for us to be satisfied, so we know that we've made our best. 
So you replicate once you know like we're, this is locked in. This is how we make this exactly. Yes. Then you replicate that. Yes, absolutely. Oh boy. So Christoph, uh, we are thrilled that you would have us uh, come to your establishment. It's a, it's so beautiful and the energy here is amazing and. Um, I just want to say thank you very much on behalf of Steve Middleman, the veganizer. Thank you so much for coming. Very appreciative. Very, we're very appreciative that you'd have us here. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My All pleasure. the best. I hope it's another 90 years for you. Yes. Whatever you like. Exactly. Yeah. As much as we can. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Enjoy you. it all. Thank, thank you. you so much. You too. Thanks. Thanks for your encouragement to the world. Now, as we ooh and ah about this. Is what we're ready. We need a spoon. No, we should. I'm gonna taste it. You want to taste that? We'll go by the yes. fork. Yes. Okay. Let's try. Toast okay. There's a banana. A banana. That's we love what, your bananas. That's what I eat most. Almost. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. How about we just smash it on our face? Yeah. Well, that's we how you that? eat, not how I eat. Okay. Ready? I am. Here we I have go. to get some of this. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Wow. So darn good. Man, oh man. It's amazing. Yeah. Now let me ask mm. you something. Yes. Miss Coco, uh, now that you've had all this amazing, amazing food, are you veganized? I'm so veganized, I can't wait to come back here and like <laughs> dive into all the other dishes yeah, that he described. It's amazing. Outrageous. Really it, great. And, and it's it's hard it's hard not to be veganized. It's so delicious. Yeah. Like, why not eat this way? Oh, of course. It's so special. And also you're getting all the health benefits, right? Yes. Yeah, very much. Yes, I definitely had you see the light? Yeah, I see the light. <laughs> I see the light in this beautiful... I had um, a heart valve replacement in you, 2018. Yes, you did. And so I became vegan pretty quickly, but sometimes stress allowed me uh, to like emotionally go towards things that I wouldn't normally... But this is... So, so, so. You can make it vegan. Incroyable. Being a lot of fun. Yes. That's the, that's the point here. Yes. So, thank Very you much for so. uh, coming with me today. Thank you, Veganizer. Of course. And Your uh, passion is yes. really helping people. We should people. all be plant based. We should all be healthy. Yes. yes. It's the bottom line. We deserve it. The whole world. We do. We okay. deserve it. Okay. To your long, beautiful health. Thank you. To you, too. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Well, thank you very much, folks. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Veganizer. Appreciate you coming.